Hey guys, someone had a question, how do you actually become deficient in the vitamin B1? Because uh, in these other videos I was talking about the importance of B1 when you're doing keto and intermittent fasting to also protect you against the damage of high levels of insulin and high sugar, okay? This is how you become deficient. Number one, you consume refined grains in the form of breads, pasta, cereal, crackers, biscuits, white rice, things like that. Uh, alcohol will do it. Liver damage, as in a fatty liver or cirrhosis of the liver, which a lot of people have and they don't even know it yet. Stress and cortisol from medications that you're taking, prednisone, anti-inflammatories, that type of thing. Metformin, which is the main uh, medication for type 2 diabetes, creates a B1 deficiency, which then can set the person up for experiencing complications of diabetes. So if anyone's on metformin, they better be taking B1 at the same time to counter the side effects. Number six, sugar. Any of the sugars will um, deplete B1 unless you're consuming actual sugar cane by itself uh, because that's, that has a lot of B1, but of course um, no one does that. And I don't recommend it because it's actually still high in sugar, but it will not deplete you of B1 because naturally sugar cane has B1 in it, uh, but the refined version does not. Okay, number seven, tea. There's a certain acid t called tannic acid which blocks B1. So if you're consuming a lot of tea, you're going to deplete B1. Certain uh, raw fish will deplete B1. Number nine, sulfites. Okay, I have a video on that. I put a link down below. Sulfites are actually in quite a few foods. That has an anti-B1 effect. Okay, number 10, insulin resistance. Okay, and also that includes being a diabetic because when you're insulin resistant, you can't pull in the B1. And this is like probably 60% of the population right here. Number 11, coffee will deplete B1 uh, three ways, from the tannic acid, from the caffeine, and from another chemical called O-diphenyls, okay? So if you're consuming coffee, just make sure you're taking nutritional yeast and try to keep it at one small cup per day. 12, medications, antiacids, antibiotics, diuretics, tamoxifen, which is uh, a medication that blocks estrogen in the body, and there's a lot of other medications as well. 13, GI problems. Let's say you have some IBS or gastrointestinal problems. Low stomach acid will block your absorption of B1, okay? There you have it. These are the reasons why you would become deficient. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying this information and getting something out of it, please give me an unbiased Google review. I put a link down below. Thanks.